right, we're going to prove the angle on the same arc theorem. This is a very easy proof. It's going to be done like that. All right, what is the angle on the same arc? So this is the angle on the same arc theorem. It says that if you have a circle and you have an arc down here, and then from that arc, you draw one set of lines to the edge of the circle and another set of lines to the edge of the circle, then the two angles will be identical. And it doesn't matter where I move them to, then they're going to be the same. And you can probably already imagine how we're going to prove this. In fancy language, it just says angles on a circle subtended by the same arc are congruent, are equal. All right, so getting down to proving it. So uh, I'm going to prove that A equals B. That's the point of this whole uh, angle theorem. So uh, I'll just label some things up. Let's call this W, X, Y, and Z, and we'll call the center O. Now, um, let's think about this. We've done theorems before, right? We've done something where um, this angle is half of that, and that's really what the crux of this, this proof is. Because we've proven something in the past, we don't have to prove it again. We can just use that theorem wherever we need to. So um, I'm going to construct a little bit of a line here like that. And I can simply say that angle WOZ uh, is equal to two times angle WXZ. And because because of that theorem, and I'll just put that here. Okay, that's enough to show that that's the theorem we're using. And I can also say that angle WOZ is equal to two times angle WYZ. Um, and I'm using the same theorem. And really, like, I've proven this now uh, based on that other theorem. Because if angle WOZ equals 2 WXYZ and angle WOZ equals 2 angle WYZ, therefore, 2 angle WXYZ equals 2 angle WYZ, therefore, angle WXZ equals angle WYZ, and in this particular case, we were supposed to prove that A equals B. Therefore, A equals B, Q, E, D. As far as proofs go, that felt really, really easy. But that proof was really, really easy because we've gone through this proof and then we can use this proof, this tool, to then be able to prove this one very simply.